Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Tanks with Ungainy Titan. So as you can see, I unlocked Technical Engineer USA after I elited the T95. Now I had previously elited the M53, M55, and it then occurred to me after doing it that, hang on, I have the Technical Engineer USA medal unlocked, and I got a little um, uh, screen, a little video popping up showing me that I had the medal unlocked. Why did I not get the Technical Engineer United or Technical Engineer United Kingdom when I elited the FV three eight oh five? Hmm, some investigation is in order. So let's go and look at the British Tech Tree. So as I scrolled through the British Tech Tree to see what I was missing, I realised I'm missing the Badger, the Tier Ten British Tank Destroyer. It was added some time ago. I think within the last year. But I'm not 100% sure when I kind of vaguely remember it being added or at least being mentioned. I didn't really take any notice of it or realise that it was actually a Tech 3 tank uh, branching off from the Tortoise in the British Tier 10 uh, Tech 3 lineup. So I need to go and grind out the Badger, which sounds like the setup for a Bill Bailey sketch. Bill Bailey is an English comedian. Link in the video description to a couple of his um, YouTube uh, some of his stuff on YouTube well worth a listen, I'll wait I'll still be here when you come back anyway, you're back ok, grinding out the badger to grind out the badger I'm going to have to purchase the tortoise this in itself is not a problem now well it is a bit of a problem I have 99,000 points in the tortoise so I don't have to get the whole 335,000 needed for the badger I, ha I only have to get a well, 136,000. But I didn't enjoy the tortoise when I played it last. Um, and I wasn't very good at it. I actually found that my favourite tank in that line was the AT-15. And it was probably the one... Well, it might not have been the one I did best in. I've played the others. But I never really revisited them. And at that point, I generally sold tanks as I moved on. Because I was uh, chronically short of silver and garage space and all this kind of stuff. It's only in the last two years or so that I have um, started to build up an excess of both garage slots and silver because I went bought quite a lot of um, garage slots the last couple of times. Well, not really the last time, but certainly the previous two occasions they were on sale. And the Alpha Bravo Charlie games, the winter games so far, have given me, each of them have given me a couple of garage slots. Alpha Bravo and Charlie and the similarly with the spring game version I've picked up a few more garage slots so I actually have quite a lot of garage slots right now so I also have a problem then that I don't have a crew ready for uh, the tortoise and who do I put onto the tortoise I don't want to take I didn't really want to take a crew off of something else but I eventually decided to take the crew from the AT-15 now the crew of the AT-15 at the time that I purchased the tor tortoise had around like 3 skills, 3.5 skills but I don't really want to play a tier, tier 9 tank with about 7 or 8 skills in it uh, at least so I've spent the last couple of days um, grinding out the AT-15 crew to add in some extra extra skills that I think that I might need or would benefit me from this tank because I played the um, the second British tank destroyer line when it came out uh, starting with the archer running up to the FE405 the Heshburn and I played that and started off the archer with no skills and I found it a real chore to grind because I was just behind the curve on skills the whole time and I think that the tanks would have been a lot better if I had spent the time actually upskilling a crew and having um, the archer was tier 5 so having at least 3 or 4 skills in the crew when I started playing the archer um, probably stealth or view range or a mixture of the two gun handling and view range generally the ones in stealth would be the ones for that line of British tank destroyers so what I did, or what I've been doing, is that I took the crew in the AT-15, and I took the by, the by 8, was it, by 8, by 6, by 5, by 4 crew boosters that I'd acquired from Spring Games um, Alpha. And I would play the tank to the first daily double on the AT-15, and would switch it to the Tier 4, uh, what is it, Centennial... Um, 
Vanquisher Centennial AC1. Get the daily double on that. Do it again on the Defiance Matilda. Do it again on the Frostbite Grizzly, which is actually not that bad. Uh, I thought it was similar to the uh, Ripper, and I must apologize to the Frostbite Grizzly. It is much better than the Rip. Um, the Ripper. I actually got a special offer to buy the Ripper, despite, uh, and I don't think I'd take it. I mean, it was four thousand gold, and I got uh, would get a week's premium and like two million silver or something like that. I don't think if they paid me four thousand gold would I take it on. I don't probably want to get paid more than four thousand gold. Really don't like the Ripper. So I have use most of the boosts and I've played those low tier tanks enough so what I'm thinking to do now is actually going on a tank destroyer binge so I'll play the AT-15 to get extra um, get extra what to get extra skills I will play at the same time probably the um, the Waffentrager Borsig, the Rheinmetall Borsig Waffentrager to grind it up um, along, I might even grind out the ISU 152 as well and the charioteer just because I haven't really played the charioteer that much certainly not a top tier and I would just like to play it because I do have a decent crew on the charioteer at the moment just like to try it out and see because I always thought I had a suspicion it would be a good tank with a decent crew in it and crew has uh, run around on British tier 8 uh, premium medium tanks for a while on my several run through those tanks for silver earning over the past year so they've actually built up quite a nice body of skills and I'll also probably train up a German crew from zero skills on the Tiger 8.8 so overall it will give me something to do until I have the crew up to the point where I'm happy enough to go on to the uh, tortoise and hopefully maybe by the time I'm, I've gotten a crew to the point where I'm happy to put the crew on the tortoise the crew with the um, Borsig and maybe the ISU 152 might be ready to release up and buy the tier 9 Russian and German uh, tank destroyers as well. So the AT-15 in action. Um, well I've played a few games in it now already and it's very situational. It's like well, it's like the T95, and it's probably even more so than it was when I played it. It's, it's quite a while since I've played the AT-15. I've played a lot of games in it back in the day, but I haven't played it in a long time. And it has been power creep somewhat. But your big problem is that it is slow. Now, I think it might have gotten a little bit of a speed buff. Um, I think it might have been slower. Now, the one advantage of it over the Tortoise was that the gun worked really well at range. I found... That the 120mm that the Tortoise uses, it's the same gun you get on the Conqueror, the top package as well, the top package on the Tortoise, but it was, um, it did require shooting at weak spots. It wasn't a guaranteed pin, no matter where you shot at the enemy tank, even with premium rounds. Whereas the, um, some other tier 9 tanks, if you're using premium rounds, you can just punch through anything. However, um, the Conqueror had superb gun handling and very good accuracy. The accuracy on the Tortoise was not as good in my experience and therefore one of my problems was that at range you had a problem with it. You had a problem hitting uh, weak spots, or at least I had a problem hitting weak spots. And close up I had a problem protecting my own weak spots, of which there are many in the front of the Tortoise. And you also had the problem that derives from the tank simply being slow. Which is if you make a wrong choice, you go in the wrong direction, or you pick the wrong allies. Um, it's almost impossible to relocate. The tank is just so slow. You could, you could relocate, and you could finish up finding yourself chasing the battlefield. Like if your team is successful, one of the problems with slow tanks like the AT-15 and the whole AT line, including the Tortoise on the T-95, is that you can spend the rest of the game chasing the battle. So, I came up here in this corner, in this corridor, I was more or less on my own at the beginning. Now, fortunately for me, the enemy didn't rush me. If four or five enemy tanks had come steaming down the road, up to the corner, round the thing, they'd have just overwhelmed me, because um, the alpha on the gun wouldn't be enough to stop them. And I wouldn't be able to turn and handle the tanks behind me, even when I got to deal with the tanks in front of me, even if 
heavy tank that got behind me could stay behind me once he got there. He might not be able to turn me on its own, but once he got into a position where he was behind me, I would be very hard put to dislodge them. The other problem, but if I was in a, if nobody had come in the direction that I was in, say if the enemy team had equally limbing trained down the other side, then by the time I would have corrected my mistake, even though I had taken no damage, met no enemies, the game would be over but, and I'd be sta chasing the battle, I might get the odd shot at a distance, but I wouldn't necessarily get, uh, or get to do much damage, so you can have wildly inconsistent games in these tanks, where either you're overrun, by superior forces and they just get behind you um, and you're completely helpless in the face of fast mediums and light tanks or you have picked the wrong direction or you haven't caught up with the battle in the first place because the enemy just melted in front of the leading wave of your team as you're following them and you just don't catch up so I can have games where you do over 3000 damage like in this one and you could have more games where you do less than a thousand damage because um, either you don't live long enough or if you do live long enough you are chasing the battle this one we finish up when you do well though you can do very well because like high caliber is actually a common enough medal to get in this tank uh first class mastery probably less so so we came number one by experience it'll be interesting to play this tank and the tortoise out in the next uh immediate future but i won't be playing them on their own i'll play all the tanks as well with them anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a like and a share feel free to comment if you have not already done so please subscribe to the channel i will catch you all soon bye for now